Hey guys, this is Zach and Junwin. We have received a massive update of 1GB on Galaxy S21 Ultra. The changelog only says overall stability of functions, but there is more and some awesome feature which I will talk about in a sec. If you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could smash the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow and motivates me to make more awesome videos for you. Without further ado, let's get started. After every major update, I wipe out the cache from recovery. And to further optimize the device, I use App Booster from Samsung. This process will take a while, but it is totally worth it, only if you get a major update. Otherwise, this booster is not necessary. Bedtime mode is now added on Quick Toggle. When the Bluetooth is toggled on, the pop-up window shows up instantly. Let's give it another try. Some users reported that there is no longer ads on a weather app nor on Samsung Pay. In my case, I'm living in Dubai and I never encountered such ads. However, for those who do get it, can rest assured that pop-up ads are gone for good. I've also noticed that the enhanced processing has been renamed to processing speed. And there are three options now, optimized, high, and maximum. I will compare and test out the difference between high and maximum in the future videos, so stay tuned for that. Users have reported that the camera launch is much faster now, however, it isn't in my case. If it's other apps, then yes, the launch animation response is super fast. Thanks to BD Tech, he has found out that when typing with Samsung keyboard, the display hertz gets locked on 60Hz, which is a bummer but might be to minimize battery drain. Since many requested for a longer video, well here you go, the initial temperature was at 26 Celsius and we'll start recording. After 15 minutes of recording, we get a temperature of 38 Celsius on a room temperature of 24 Celsius. If it was outside, then the temperature would be 44 Celsius. Therefore, slight improvement on heat, but not too major. Although many users reported that this update fixed their overheat issue. As usual, I set my settings to the maximum, with 120Hz enabled, 1440p, and the new option processing speed at maximum. Let's see if the result will beat the previous updates. First up, the NT2 benchmark, with initial temperature of 30 Celsius. At the end, the temperature rise is same as previous updates, and the score dropped by 4000 points compared to July update, which is disappointing. However, it isn't that major. Moving on to Geekbench, the initial temperature was at 26 Celsius. At the end, we get the high score yet, and the temperature is at 31 Celsius, whereas previous update, the temperature is usually at 35 to 36 Celsius. Great improvement from Samsung. On 3D Mark, the initial temperature is at 29 Celsius, and at the end of the benchmark, we get lower score by 100 points compared to previous updates with similar FPS. But the temperature department is shown to be improved yet again with temperature of 34 Celsius, when all previous updates would always hit at 36 Celsius. I have yet to test out the battery life, however many users have reported that the battery life is much better now and the aggressive wake clock is minimized. Do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this and if you have got the updates yet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.